What cigarette do you smoke, Doctor? Of all the advertising that we can think of, cigarette advertising is probably the most egregious of all. A product that is so incredibly damaging, yet was marketed in so many disingenuous ways. You get much more flavor, much less nicotine. Smoke Camels, the cigarette so many doctors enjoy. It's good to get back to flavor you can really taste. In the UK, it is now illegal to advertise cigarettes. And as of 2016, cigarette packaging now looks like this and comes with these types of warnings. So today we may still have annoying adverts. Go compare, go compare. But the important question is, how far have we come in terms of regulating the truthfulness and integrity of advertising? So full of flavor, so mild and easy going. It tastes so good. Imagine pleasure like this. To discuss this issue, we have to talk about the ASA. The ASA, or the Advertising Standards Authority, is an independent advertising regulator in the UK. Established in 1962, the ASA basically exists to make sure that advertisers are not breaching the British Code of Advertising Practice, which, as the ASA states, means that advertising must be legal, decent, decent honest, honest, and, and truthful. truthful. If an ad is found to be breaching these guidelines, the ASA basically contact the advertiser and say, look, you have one of two options, either take the advert down or change it. Now, more often than not, this is more than enough. But in the rare event where it's not, the ASA can actually pass cases to trading standards who actually have some legal authority. But with so many adverts being run at any one time, how do the ASA know where to look? Well, actually they rely on us the public to make these complaints. In fact, 98% of all the complaints that the ASA receive come from members of the public. For example, in 2021, EasyJet ran this ad, which says destination zero emissions. We are championing a future of zero emission flights. Reading this, I would think, oh man, that is so cool. I can't believe that in the very near future, I'm gonna be able to travel to the sunny beaches of southern France or the gorgeous Amalfi Coast in Italy and not even have to spend a second worrying about any environmental harm. But if you actually visit the website that they link to, what they're actually claiming is that eventually they might be able to offer two hour electric flights by the mid 20 30s. So, you know, in about 13 years or so. Now, if that's not just a little bit deceiving and manipulative, then I don't know what is. Which is exactly why Ad Free Cities submitted a complaint about this advert to the ASA. And so the ASA investigated the advert, told EasyJet to remove it, which of course EasyJet did, and then we all got to live happily ever after. <laughs> Except no, no, that did not happen. The ASA did nothing. They just responded by saying this. The ASA has recently launched a climate change and environment project. As such, we have scouted out areas which we wish to focus on, and the travel sector is one of them. Whilst this work is ongoing, we will not be taking your complaint forward at this time. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, fine. But EasyJet is just a small budget airline. Maybe the ASA have bigger toefish to fry. You know, like Chevron, the oil company that have been ranked as the second biggest carbon emitter on the planet. In 2021, they ran this ad. At Chevron, we're lowering the carbon emissions intensity of our operations, investing in lower carbon technologies, and exploring renewable fuels of the future. Chevron are, after all, the human energy company. But as Adblock Bristol points out, Chevron invests less than 3% of their capital budget to carbon reducing projects and are aiming to increase oil and gas production by 15% by 2025. In other words, they're not reducing their impact on the environment, they're actually increasing it. We work hard to care for the homes we love, but it's only human to protect the one we share. So Adblock Bristol filed a complaint to the ASA. The ASA immediately stepped in and told Chevron to take down the ad, right? 
No, the ASA did nothing. And look, there are a bunch of cases just like this. And if we spend the whole video going through them, well, by the time we finished, EasyJet might well have electric planes. But since we are an animal rights organization here at Surge, let's look at an example related to that. Behind our red tractor is peace of mind when putting food upon your table. This is an advert for Red Tractor, the UK's largest animal welfare scheme. And looking at this advert, well, you could convince yourself that animals in the UK live wonderful lives on these certified farms and are well taken care of. After all, your food is traceable, safe and farmed with care. However, investigations have found that this is not necessarily the case. And so 29 complainants filed a complaint arguing that the ad is misleading as Red Tractor can't guarantee animal welfare. So the ASA must have taken down the ad, right? Well, by now, you probably see the pattern. The ASA ruled that the Red Tractor advert was absolutely fine and not misleading because the AFS showed that they have these guidelines on a document and they are enforceable even though they actually showed no evidence of the standards being enforced. But at the end of the day, no scheme could guarantee a particular level of welfare or that all the food was risk-free. Behind our red tractor is peace of mind. They say that their standards are independently checked regularly by experts, anytime unannounced. There are thousands of checks, thorough, widespread, from crop stores to chicken sheds, cows and sows and what they're fed. However, two months before the advert aired, an investigation revealed that only 0.08% of inspections are actually unannounced. In other words, they give over 99.9% .9 of farmers a heads up about when they're going to be doing the inspection, which means that the farmers have ample time to hide or clear up anything they don't want the inspectors to see. Let's just imagine for a second that a school is being investigated for abusing and mistreating pupils, and the school in their defense gives the investigators a piece of paper. And the school says, hey, look, we have these guidelines on a piece of paper, and these guidelines are technically enforceable even though we're not going to provide any evidence to show that they are enforced. But look, they're technically enforceable. So that must prove that we haven't done anything wrong to the pupils. And the investigators look at the piece of paper and go, oh, well, I guess that's absolutely fine then. Now look, the ASA isn't some ubiquitously terrible organization and they do sometimes get it right. But unfortunately, they often get it wrong as well. And it seems like they often get it wrong with the types of companies and organizations where we really need the ASA to get it right. But what this shows us is that we as individuals should be and need to be more critical of the advertising around us. Sadly, adverts are still as misleading as they were back in the day. We've basically gone from promoting companies that give us cancer to promoting companies that destroy our environment and hurt animals. And in the case of processed meat, well, still give us cancer. And unfortunately, we're still falling for it. Not one single case of throat irritation due to smoking camels. Look, why don't you join me? Have a real cigarette.